We are working with a number of industry partners on developing electric and hybrid electric vehicle technologies. One of the benefits of collaborating with, with universities is because you can see we have a range of facilities and we can effectively make prototypes and demonstrate not just in terms of academic selective uh, research but also actually in the laboratory testing conditions. At the center of electric vehicle is, 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 is the drivetrain or the power engine which is in the case of electric vehicle is the motors. And uh, of course, motor is controlled by power electronics. This is one of, one of the examples. So um, the first thing we need to do is to testing the whole drive trains in the laboratory conditions. And in order to do that, we need uh, power supplies. We need uh, uh, dynamite, which dyno means, means that you can actually load the motors, or you can actually reverse in the case of Ligia. So in other words, the, the, the equipment needed to control the motors, both in, in terms of motoring and in generation, right? So here, yeah, in this room we have a uh, dynamic uh, for that purpose, and this allows to testing the motor with the power around 120 kilowatt, uh, with the speed up to uh, 20,000, right? So we can vary the speed, and it is full quadrant. So you can control both uh, motoring and the generation. And if we need uh, the high power uh, motor and the drive, then we have another facility here. This is actually a prototype machine, which is designed for aerospace application. It is 250 kilowatt. And uh, that the dyno necessary to testing this machine is uh, about 350 kilowatt, which can output 5,000 uh, newton meter torque. This is quite unique. This probably is why we actually you know, get uh, more interested partners uh, because these are absolutely essential in order to demonstrate your principle. Without it, you, you will not be able to really show that uh, you know everything works. Over this area is another facility, is high speed drive. So this is talking about uh, more than 100,000. RPM and particularly for aerospace application, it's really important because once you increase the speed, you can reduce the size and the weight, which makes the system more cost effective. And this, if, in order to testing that, you have the safety issues, right? So this this high speed um, bed allow you to uh, put everything inside a very secure environment, and you have a camera look at and then you're testing um, the whole. Uh, mode and the drive in it. The technical challenge is really, I think, for the electromobility to work, to be accepted by a general public, then it's really how do you make it very safe, reliable, and very cost effective. The key challenge is really how we bring the society and industry to realize that there's huge potentials. The technology is there. If we look at the, how we link the electromobility with the renewable energy source, and given that renewable energy source need the energy storage capacity and the, the electric vehicle has enormous amount of uh, energy storage capacity in it if you look at the number of the vehicles, right? So if we can then bring these two together, for example, using the, the solar cells to power the vehicle and uh, using some, the renewable energy wind power to power the vehicle, and also when the wind power is not enough to provide energy, then the energy from the electric vehicle stored in the battery can put back into the grid to support the grid. So if you put this together, then you'll see enormous benefit.